Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will show you how to create image inside an image in Microsoft Word. So in this example you can see that the bird is a separate image which is being placed on top of this forest background and there is also this text on the right side. So let's see if we can recreate the very same looking image inside the Word document. So I will start with the blank document and I will probably jump to layout and set the orientation to be landscape just because it will be easier for me to work in the landscape view. I will zoom in a little bit and I already have those images opened in my browser so I will jump to browser. I will put the links in the description so I will right click for this image and select copy image. I can of course download the high resolution image using the free download button but I guess I'm fine with the lower resolution for now. I will jump to my document and select home and paste. Of course I can just click Control V on my keyboard, that's the very same thing. Now before I do anything, I will jump to design and change the page background to be a little bit darker color, maybe like this one, just so we can really see that the image is a non-transparent one, there is a white background. Now there are two different ways how to change the image to be transparent. I will select the image, select the format ribbon and the first way is to select the color drop down and select set transparent color. Now as soon as I click this menu item, I will get this like a different kind of cursor which allows me to choose the color. There, there is no other option just to choose the color. So I will click the, on the white color and voila, you know, the white color disappears. If I zoom in a little bit, you can see that, you know, some parts are missing. There is a little bit of white outline around the burr, but overall, you know, the result is pretty fine, I would guess. I mean, I would say. So this is, this works per perfectly fine if you had like a white or even color background. I can reset the image, clicking this reset image button and I can show you the arrow way. The arrow way is this remove background function on the left side, which is a little bit more intricate because it has more options. Now by default, it shows you in the magenta overlay which parts of the image will get removed. You can see that it works perfectly fine except for a few exceptions like this one. The tail is being removed, so I have to zoom in a little bit, set the mark areas to keep and just draw over the tail to make sure that it will be included. And I will probably do the same around here like this. Now when I'm happy with the result, I will click keep changes and our bird is isolated. And it looks just a little bit better than the set transparent color, so I guess I will stick with this solution. I will zoom out a little bit and I will copy the second image. So I will jump to the browser, select this background, right click, select copy image and paste this back into our document, pressing the control V and you can see that those images are not top of each other, so I have to select this image, click on this icon and select to be either behind or in front of the text. And I have that to do the same with the second image as well, so I will set it to be you know, behind or above the text. I will select the bird and using the shift key I will scale it a little bit like this. So just it's sitting on top of the branch and move it closer to the branch. Now those images are a little bit different so there are a few more things how we can make sure that they are blending a little bit more. If you take a closer look at the background image you can see that there are a lot of greens and blues so it's kind of like the cold color scheme whereas the bird is kind of neutral. So I, I can right click and select format picture and in the picture properties there is this option for picture corrections, I mean picture color and one of the options is to set the temperature. Now there are a lot of presets going from the very cold ones to very warm ones. If I select the warm, it's probably not visible on the video. You will see that the bird gets like the yellow tint, which is not what we want. We can we want exactly the opposite one. We want this to be like a more blue, more more cold. This one is probably too much, so I will select something around you know 5900 kelvins like this, and this works perfectly fine. So this will help to make sure that the color scheme is somehow similar between those two images. The next thing I can do is I can draw a little bit of drop shadow below the legs. So I will insert a new shape, being the oval. I have to wait a few seconds to load this menu. So I'll draw a new oval like this. I will zoom in a little bit, rotate it, select the outline to be no outline and fill to be black. Black, yes. And in the shape properties, I will open the soft edges and just make it a little bit softer like this. Then I will select the home ribbon, select selection pane and move this oval below the picture just so it's below the legs like this. I will zoom out 
and I guess we are almost finished. In the original document I also had the text box, so I will insert a new text box, insert shapes, a new text box. Again, I have to wait a few seconds, I will draw a new text box and I will type in, I don't know, maybe, maybe bird. I will change the font to be Roboto, I think I've used Roboto Black. I will increase the size to maybe 150, set the outline and fill to none, so no fill, no outline. I will make this a little bit bigger, just so I can see all the layers, and change the text fill to be white, like this. Now I will select this text box and in the selection pane I will move it below the picture just so that the tail of the bird is above the layers. So I will position it a little bit better like this, maybe I will move the bird as well, more to the left. And what I can do is I can just select the oval and copy paste it one more time and move it below the tail, just so it works almost like a drop shadow. I will move it below the picture as well. Okay, maybe using arrow keys to position it properly. And I'm pretty happy with the result. So we have everything we need inside board, but how would we export this image? It's pretty easy. But before we do anything, we have to make sure that nothing goes outside of the boundaries of our image. If we take a look at the bird, you can see that it's transparent, but the left side goes outside of the boundaries of the background image. So I will select Format, Crop, and I will crop this image from the left side like this. Now everything is ready. I will select all the objects in the selection pane with the control key pressed, so everything is selected. Then I will jump to the home ribbon and copy everything into the clipboard, pressing the copy button or just pressing the control C on my keyboard. Now I'll create a new page, but just because I only have, you know, nothing is typed here, I cannot just click in here and just move the cursor here. So I have to double click maybe in here to move cursor in here, press the enter key multiple times, create a new page. Then I will select paste, but I will not select paste, but paste drop down menu and select paste special. And I will paste this as a PNG image, so just so that all the details are kept. It will take a while and now I have a PNG image. You can see on the right side that this is just one image, which I can save to my disk or hard drive. So I will right click, select save as picture, and I will just name it, I don't know, bird image. I can save it as PNG, but just because this is like the photograph, I can as well just select JPEG file. I will click save and that's done. Everything is saved to my file. It's just a normal image which I can use for anything I want. So that's it. That's how you create, how you put image inside an image in Microsoft Word, including maybe text or anything you like, and just how to export it from Word as a standard image. That's it. Thanks for watching.